Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Droid Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the audio issue or audio or sound is not working or it is crackling, distorted and popping issues in NBA 2K23, sorry 2K24 and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you are having this particular trouble, all you have to do is we just need to try with a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the power icon. Go to this uh, icon over here and go for the restart. Once the restart is done, try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. If the issue is still working, it's uh, you can try with the next one. That is all about we need to run the game as an administrator. For running the game as an administrator, we have to go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties. We have to go to the installed files and we just need to go for browse. So we very easily redirect you to this particular installation folder. If you check at the top, that is this PC, local to C, program file x86, Steam, Steam Amps, common, NBA 2K24. So if you scroll down, you can see there is this is the application. So we just need to right click over here and go to the show more options and we have to go to the properties, go to compatibility. And now from here, as you can see, what we need to do is we just need to go over here and select run this program as an administrator. And once you select this one, go for apply and go for OK. And we just need to close this and we just need to go back and we just need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to do is we just need to check the volume mixer sometimes that is might be an issue. For this, we just need to go over here. As you can see, this is the volume mixer. So if you select this one, so sometimes this might be muted completely. So we'll not be having the audio even we launch the game. So we have to make sure that is this is set into 100%. And also you have to cross check by clicking on the settings icon over here, go to the sound, make sure both the volume is being set into 100%. Here this should be 100% and here this should be 100% as well. Once you set this up, you just need to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to make sure that we have selected the right audio device. For this we just need to go over here in the search, we have to go over here in the settings over here, we have to go to the sound. Make sure that the sp speakers over here, as you can see, that is Realtek R audio. And as you can see, that is also Realtek R audio. So both has to be correct. So here the Realtek R audio is selected and here the Realtek R audio is selected. So we have to select both the thing has to be correct. And once you set this up, we just need to close this. We just need to go back and we just need to try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to set the sample sound rate. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. We have to search for control panel. We have to search for the control panel. Now from here, we have to go to the hardware and sound. Go for the sound once again. Now from here, we need to select the speakers. Right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here, go to the advanced option. Now as you can see, we are having the option here that is 24 bit 4800 Hz, 24 bit 4400 Hz, 16 bit 1400 Hz and 16 bit 4400 Hz. So just go for 24 bit 4800 hertz. Just go for OK and set this up OK as well and close this and we have to go back, try launch the game. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we need to do is we just need to set the uh, turn off the spatial sound. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. We have to go for the control panel. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to go for hardware and sound. Go for the sound once again. Now from here we just need to select the speaker, right click and we have to go to the properties, go to the spatial sound, select this one and turn this off. This is very important and we have to turn this off. Once afterwards we just need to close this and we just need to go back and we just need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to disable the oculus if this oculus is there. For this we just need to go over here, go to the uh, control panel once again, go for hardware and sound, go for the sound once again. Now from here we just need to go for speakers, right click and we have to go to the properties. Now from here, not here, sorry, from here you will be able to find the oculus if oculus is there. So if you find the oculus here, just remove the oculus, I mean we have to select this and go for disable the oculus. Once you disable the oculus, we just need to close this and we just need to go back and we just need to try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is. We just need to update the driver that is very important. So we just need to go over here in the start right click and we have to go over here in the device manager. 
Now from here we have to scroll down and we have to go to the display adapters we have to make sure update the driver same way we have to go over here in the sound video and game controller and as you can see intel r display audio is there so you just need to right click and go for update driver go for search automatically for drivers we should we need to update the driver that is very important the same way realtek r audio is a speaker as well so just update it so make sure it is up to date once you up to date these drivers we just need to go back and we just need to try launch the game so this might work this may not work so even after trying with all these things if the issue is still there we can try with the next one that is all about we need to verify integrity of game file for this we just need to go over here right click and we have to go to the properties go to the install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so when you click on the verify integrity of game file this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and this is what you have to do and most probably when you try this out the issue will be completely fixed and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon more notifications see you soon in the see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye